So I was uh, working, uh, I actually was tearing apart a power supply because I was going to use it for a Halloween costume, and I grabbed the case, and, and I heard some really wobbly sound to it. It's like, well, this is kind of cool. So um, I, I played around with it, and I grabbed a little beater, which in this case is a screwdriver, and I started hitting it, and I came up with this, just, just on its own. Really nice bell sound. And I thought to myself, well, you know, they, they make these instruments that if you squeeze it, they, the, the tone changes. And, of course, that's always the case for something like this. The tone will change. And so I, I tried it, and I came up with this. And, of course, yeah, they do make a, a percussive instrument that actually does this. So this is just a, like I said, this is a power supply. There's the, uh, there's the information. This was a 240-volt power supply. And now it's, I'm sorry, 450 watt power supply. What am I thinking? I don't know. Anyway, so uh, so I just came up and it's just started hitting. It's like, so I'm going to have a little bit of fun with it. And if you get really good, because there's people that are really good at this. And, and basically I'm making the sound by squeezing. Watch this. I squeeze it in. And some people get really, really good at this, and they start making music. So let's see what, what we can do. I need some practice. How about this one? Really cool things you can steampunk. This, like I said, this is a power supply inside of a computer. This is just the case. Uh, of course, if you take the case off, be very, very care careful because you know there could be some leftover electricity in there. So this was a power supply that pretty much sat for a very long time and was dead, dead, dead. So when I took it apart, so be very careful when you do stuff like that. And if you don't know if it is or not, don't do it. But uh, Anyway, this is a pretty cool little steampunk thing there. So you got any you got any cool ideas like this? Let me know. Twitter me at Geekazine or go over to Geekazine.com. Thanks a lot for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. I think it's time to sound the bell, right? Oh, that didn't sound right.